I see you. On left hook from down. Oh, he dropped him. Oh. 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 Two big bombs come from Ryan Garcia. Another left hook from Ryan Garcia. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. You definitely go out like this, bro. This is tough, man. Oh my god. Oh my lord. No. 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 No, god. No. No, no. god. Please, no. 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 Ryan Garcia got two bombs. No. Much. He got too no. much! Not like this. He got too much! That's too much pressure! That's too much pressure! From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG and GM. Praise God to get buddy back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Y'all know what it is. The doctors in the house. We are here again, man. Dr. Boxing Talk in the building. Guess what, man? It was crazy, man. Last night, you know, I'm still hype. I didn't get, I don't really sleep that much. I didn't really get too much sleep, but, you know, that's just a normal thing for me. But, bro, sis, this, oh my gosh, brethren, this is shit. This was a boxing event, man. A beautiful night of boxing. You know what I'm saying? A beautiful night of boxing. But of course, there got to be a little state or else it wouldn't be boxing. But I enjoyed it overall. The first part, let's get right to it, man. Before we get started, I want to holler at Sean McComb and, and, and Arnold Barbosa Jr. Arnold Barbosa was the beneficiary, beneficiary of a robbery, man. Bullshit! Bullshit! Bullshit, 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 bullshit! It was a straight robbery. I gave Sean McComb seven of the of the ten rounds, you know what I'm saying? So I scored it seven to three. And it could, or it could be six to four, but that's being very generous towards Arthur Barbosa. Either way, Sean McCombe should have won that. Barbosa was a beneficiary of, of, of a robbery last night, you know what I'm saying? I don't really call too many things but robbery uh robberies, you know what I'm saying? Contrary to, to, to many boxing fans, I don't really say there's too many robberies. That was a robbery last night, man. Shout out to Sean McCoy. He did his thing, got pointed at Arthur Barbosa. That's the first thing. Now let's get to the main, main event, the meat and potatoes. Ooh, uh, Scrapper Ramirez and David Jimenez. That was a good fight as well, man. I I really enjoyed them, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to David Jimenez. He, he, he was a victim of another robbery before in his, in his career, too. You know what I'm saying? But let's get to it, man. Speaking of robbery, man, they tried to rob Garcia, too. Not like this. Oh, you know they tried to rob Garcia. Because that was a pleasant surprise, man. I'm not going to be one of them to act like I knew that was going to happen. That was a surprise, man. I always said that if Ryan Garcia somehow manages to win, it's not just going to shake up the 140-pound division. It's going to shake up the boxing world. Because nobody expected that to happen. I won money off of it. Yeah. Because I like Ryan Garcia more than Devin Haney, but I thought Devin Haney was the more skillful fighter. I still think he's the more skillful fighter, but it's not all about skills. There's different aspects of boxing, you know what I'm saying? You got to be durable. What? You, 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 you got to be tough. What? You can have power. What? You can have agility. What? You know, you can have skills. What? You can have uh, 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 fundamentals or lack of fundamentals. You got athleticism. So oh, there's not yeah. just one way to skin the cat in boxing. That's why boxing is so wonderful, man. And upsets do happen. Huh. Upsets do happen. That's why I tell people upsets happen all the time in boxing. That's what we like. Not all the time, but it happens, it happens often enough to where you can't act like anything's a given. So when people say that uh, Canelo versus McGee, or you, you know what's going to happen. It's already written. Shut up, bitch. No, it's not. You never know what's gonna happen. Of course, the smart money's on Canelo, just like the smart money's on, on Devin Haney. Granted, I think De De uh, Canelo has a better chance, even better chance. Of dominating Munguia, but you just you just never know, man. Munguia's a young bull. But anyway, let's, let's get back. Let's get right to it. I don't want to hold you up too longer because we gonna talk about it in the stream. You know, I could rant about it all day. You know, but but let's talk about right out right out the gate, man. Garcia wobbled Haiti right out the gate. It reminded me of what Pippo Cruz did to Rolly Romero. I'm talking about Rolly Romero. I think I'm, I'm not. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was the first round. That boy had that man doing a stanking leg. Oh. <laughs> And, and Ryan Garcia, it's funny because Ryan Garcia should be the one that's closer to Ronald Romero in, in this outfit, you know? Right out the gate, he wobbled him, man. That was crazy. He, he set the tone early, man. Garcia said, I'm going to leave with his head. He wasn't playing. So you have chosen death. Um, so there was three knockdowns, and it honestly could have been even more knockdowns than three. You know, Harvey Doc was showing love. He was showing love day in the ring. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, I like Harvey Doc. He's a good referee, you know, but but he was he was showing love for Devin Haney, man. It was three knockdowns at a minimum, but uh, that was that was really scored, technically knockdowns, but it could have been at least 
maybe four or five knockdowns throughout the course of that fight. So we know. Uh, let me let me reference my notes real quick. I remember in the um, in the uh, uh, well, the first knockdown, the first official knockdown came in the seventh. Uh, and then the next one came in the 10th, and the next one came in, uh, the third one came in the 11th, if, I'm not, if my memory serves me correctly. Let me reference my notes. Yes, sir. So that was crazy, man. And then, you know, uh, uh, Harvey Doc in the in the, in the the seventh round, where, 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 where Garcia got the knockdown, he had a questionable point deduction. I'm, I'm not too bad at the point deduction, just because if you consider everything that transpired throughout the course of the event, and Ryan Garcia, erratic behavior, he, he clearly punched after, after the break. Oh, wow. You know, say after the break. So, yes, you typically warn them. For, for, for that for that action, but it was a punch. You know what it is, boxing, man. It can get dangerous. So in that moment, I was mad about the point deduction, but as I as I calmed down and, you know, say my emotions rest, uh, 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 my, my emotions uh, uh, evened out, you know, I was like, okay, man, I can see the point deduction. So I'm not too mad at the point deduction, but, you know, I do think it was unfair because Devin Haney could have got a point deduction too for the excessive holding and stuff like that. But it is what it is, man. It ain't stop him. Uh, uh, Ryan Garcia still came through and did his thing. And um, yeah, I, I really, I, I don't know how one of the judges scored in the draw. What did he say? Oh. Because I scored it a uh, 113, 111 for, for, for Garcia. Like, and this, you know what's crazy about that? I scored a 113, 111 for Garcia and it could have been worse because guess what? I didn't even score any of the rounds a seven point round from Devin Haney. So imagine if I scored round seven, uh, if I only gave Devin Haney seven points for round seven or, 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 or only gave him uh, seven points for round 10, which you could have done. You know what I'm saying? I will be a generous towards Haney. I only scored those eight rounds. I didn't give him any seven rounds and I still had Ryan Garcia winning by two points. So I don't know how the heck they had to draw. The fix was in. Hey, hey, hey but uh, you know, the other two judges, they scored it fairly. Uh, but it's just amazing to me how you can score that, call that a draw because I didn't even call, I didn't even give Devin Haney any seven rounds and you could have and he, I still had him winning by two points. Now I will say the round count on my scorecard was a draw because I reference my scorecard. I gave Devin Haiti the the second uh, rounds two through five. I gave Devin Haiti uh, round nine, and I gave I said you could possibly give round eight to Devin Haiti. I thought that was a swing round, so I say I gave that to Devin Haiti. So that's six rounds. I gave round one to Garcia. I gave round six definitively to to to. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. I gave round, round six to, to to Garcia. That was, also was a swing round, in my opinion. But I gave it to Garcia. Um, and I gave uh, uh, round seven for show to Garcia, and then I gave rounds ten, eleven, and twelve to Garcia. So I had I had the round split even, but the scores, what you consider the the uh, uh, the knockdowns, there's no way that could have been a draw. So 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 shout out to, shout out to uh, the crazy judges for that one well, the one crazy judge for that man that was crazy but uh, yeah so and, and to, to a lot of people are, are confused about this you know because sometimes it doesn't go this way sometimes it does but I just want to make it clear that according to uh, Marco Sulabad Sul uh the WBC BC president uh, Devin Haney is still the champion because you know Ryan Garcia missed weight and according to WBC rules which seems to change <laughs> whimsically you know uh, sometimes sometimes when when somebody misses weight the belt and they lose. Uh, so, wait. So, sometimes when a person misses weight and then the and then the uh, uh, the challenger wins, it becomes vacant. But in this case, uh, since the belt wasn't on the line at all, uh, Devin Haney still retains his belt. So the so the so the champions at 140 is still Devin Haney, Isak People Cruz, Teofimo Lopez, and uh, and Super Matias. But we all know what happened, man. And then lastly, but not last but not least, man, I want I want to talk about this too, man. The weight. I don't want to hear nothing about no weight bullying. He paid his tax. He paid five hundred k per pound at three pounds, three point two pounds to be exact. You know, say add further specificity. Don't forget the point two. You know, he paid one point five million dollars. You know what I'm saying? But that's not even the, the most important part. The most important part is that Devin Haney did this to reach his program. Devin Haney came in as a super middleweight, 165 pounds unofficially against Regis Progray. You know, say for a 140 pound fight. Now, what I've been hearing on the streets, I have not seen the uh, the unofficial way of the night, a uh, way of the night between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney, but I've been hearing on the streets is between 160 and 170 for both of them. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to hear this weight bully stuff, you know. When, when someone uses your tactics against you, it is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? You got paid for it, so it is what it is. But I ain't gonna lie, Ryan look good, healthy. <laughs> Ryan, I said that from jump, from from Jump Street, man. From Jump Street, I said that Ryan Garcia looked healthy, boy. God damn it, that's a big fat ass. He looked, <laughs> but Devin Haney didn't look slim either. He thought like, he rehydrated properly too, and, and, and effectively too, like he always does. So I want to hear nothing about a weight bully or nothing like that. Hey, you you got the terms, you set the terms and during negotiations, you signed it. It is what it is, man. I want to hear nothing about no gosh dang weight. That's number one. Number two, hey. 
it brings some validation to, uh, to take, doesn't it? You want to say, oh, the rehydration clause, whatever, whatever. Shut up, bitch. But I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about the fact that not only did Isak Pippo Cruz win his last match, Ryan Garcia won his match. You know what I'm saying? So those are people that be hating on certain people, man. Stop hating, man. Shout out to Devin Haney. I still think Devin Haney could come back. And, you know, a loss doesn't define your career. Still shout out to the man. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm, ex I'm excited to see his bounce back and his return, man. And, and this is no hate on Devin Haney, man. It is what it is. Sometimes, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. And uh, I think this was just a miscalculation on his part. And, but I don't want to hear anything about weight. And it's funny because we, if you go back to his old sparring footage, you know, it's old. And I don't I don't put nothing in the, in the sparring. But some things don't change. And it brings validation to what AB said. But AB said that I saved that boy. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. Hold. Wait. First of all, you're not going to speed past that. Wait. This looks familiar. You know, I saved that boy for the hurt that take was put on him because, you know, he is a little chinny. You know what it is, what it is, man. AB saved him, and guess what? Floyd tried to save him. Everybody was like, oh, Ryan Garcia. Floyd is saving Ryan Garcia. He doesn't want Ryan Garcia to fight WAD because he'll lose. Huh. Where y'all at now? It seems like Floyd was trying to save Devin Haney. You know what I'm talking about? When my name come up, respect it. Let's go. Stop playing with my fucking name. I'll drill y'all. <laughs> But yeah, man, I appreciate y'all rocking me as always, man. You know we're going to talk about this. You know we're going to talk about this uh, uh, in the stream. So y'all come kick it with me. Come chop it up. It was a great night of boxing, man. Hey, it is what it is, man. Shout out to Devin Haney. Most importantly, shout out to Ryan Garcia, man. He held it down. It was a pleasant surprise. Surprise do happen in boxing. That's why we love this sport, man. Big salute to those Warriors. They put their life on the line for our entertainment. And I was entertained last night. Y'all be easy as always. Remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we're nothing. Y'all be easy. Peace. Love y'all, man. The doctor's out. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.